Hi Virgo, welcome to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. If at any time you feel you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Um, any information, questions that you have about me will be in the description box below. You'll also find a link to my website. There you can purchase uh, the Oracle deck that I've created. You can book a reading, you can read client reviews, crystals, um, and other merchandise and fun stuff for you to look at. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with my blessing and my prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you at this time. Mother, Father, God, Son, and Holy Spirit, ooh, of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Virgo. In regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. Lord, I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception for Virgo in regards to what soul lessons and karmic cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I feel like you're trying to get over something or you're trying to get over a bridge or something like something keeps like it's going to come together, but it, it then it almost feels like it's coming apart. But that's part of the process. You're going through a phase where you may feel like your back is up against the wall or maybe maybe some of you are being um, spiritually, psychically attacked. There's a lot of warfare going on for, for most of the collective, not just Virgos, but it, it is what's going on right now as we're ascending. Um, the darkness is, is trying to think of all tactics. Um, but there's an energy here where someone just kind of feels like maybe I'm up against a wall or nobody's hearing what I'm saying. Everything I'm trying to build is going backwards. Um, but it's a test of your faith. It's truly a test of your faith, okay? You have the Eight of Cups. It's like trusting God even in the midst of darkness. You have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and Death, Scorpio energy, Aries energy with the Emperor, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. There's some type of uh, work-life, work-love balance that you're needing to figure out here. Um, I see that here. Like, I think you give more into the, the, cause the emperor I'm thinking hardness, but I know that this means that some of you are probably like a, uh, an entrepreneur or own your own business, but there's, there's a density to this energy that's creating an off balance in the availability of the love that you give and receive. Four of cups, page of cups. Seven of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups. So what's taking place overall, Virgo, what I'm seeing is a lot of you may be going through a major shift in transformation. We're talking about ascension. So there's memories, things that are rising up in the surface. And I think for some of you, you don't really want to dive deep right now. You have like other things to, you know, other fish to fry. There's other things that you need to get done. There's other things that are um, important. And that's true, but in the grand scheme of everything, and the real truth is that nothing is actually more important than the other. They're all equal. It's all equally the same. It all plays a very intricate part in the details of your life and the lessons and the growth that your soul goes through to ascend to higher dimensions so that you don't have to keep coming back and reliving these lessons over and over so that you can close out karmic cycles and, and actually live in that center balance and that peace that you're looking for because it is available to you. I see it here. It is gonna require patience because this is a lot, of, um, a lot of digging up what's been deep and hidden. I think some of you are really trying to figure out what is it that will fulfill a void, like you're longing for something inside. There's something that you're longing for. Um, and you could just be filling it with temporary fills, like, because um, she's sitting on the beach, 
So it's like maybe just going on a quick vacation or it's almost like burying your head somewhere else um, so that we're not addressing. But the divine is coming in. You have Hierophant energy here with the Taurus and then you have the Eight of Swords and the Devil. It's in, it's in the longing. It's in that energy of, of where you feel like something is missing, that you are going to be set free and you're going to see something from a higher perception. Right now, your, 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 your perception is very, very limited when it comes to this uh, particular situation because you're playing with fire, you're playing with the devil. And I don't even think you realize it. Maybe you do, right? Maybe it's this other person and they're coming through with a lot of darkness and, and, and whatever. But um, I would be careful because there's temptation around you. This temptation is around you to make a certain decision in regards to stability, commitment, or finances here. For some of you, this reading is to warn you of that. And don't take any shortcuts because we're in a we're in a vibration now on earth where our karma is going to be happening instantly because that's the level that we're at. Okay. Um I feel like you are trying to set yourself free from some type of contract, commitment, even a job, something. Now hear me out because this is how they're showing me, Virgo. It's connected to your higher purpose, your higher knowledge, your higher wisdom. It's connected to something spiritually and emotionally for you. I see that. Maybe something that you've been with for a long time or you have children with this person or you work children together but there's something here that's deeply connected to your soul but you also feel stuck trapped and in some it's a it's a karmic soul contract and so this inability to move forward is because you're also for some reason virgo really kind of refusing to address it the way that it needs to be addressed okay and this is, um, well, you, you would be going through a certain part on your spiritual journey where you're learning how to uh, take what's been held within your gut for so long, either your root chakra, root, sacral, and solar. What is that heaviness down there? Maybe afraid to be vulnerable, afraid to open up, afraid, whatever it is. And it's coming up to be broken out of your heart chakra. It's the only way you're going to grow. And that explains why you have the emperor, the six of pentacles, and the ace of cups. <clears throat> See how it's um, an explosion between these two heart chakras on the six of pentacles? This is yourself. Both of these women are you. And this is how you give and receive to yourself, your light self and your dark self. You've got to take what you're holding on to and what you've been through and, and, and your judgment of others and your judgment of self and your judgment of a situation. And you have to release some type of hold that you have, some type of perception. It's a blockage that you have because you're trying to control the outcome of a situation. And it's it's... It's just coming to a point where I feel like you need to take a pause. You may need to take a break on something to experience the transformation that needs to happen. All right. So let's clarify. You have the eight of cups, the 10 of pentacles and death for the recent past. Walk. It, it's very interesting because I'm getting this, this, this energy of walking away from one commitment and moving and transitioning into something else or it was like the death of the end of either a marriage or a partnership that involved finances stability could even be something in the family and this is the reason why it's going through a death card which is a major arcana the reason why this was such a big deal is because i feel like the emotions and uh, the severity of what was lacking went on for too long. Somebody wasn't voicing their truth and what they really needed out of this commitment or out of this partnership. And that was the, that was the death of it. It was creating some type of toxicity that spirit said, okay, we have to break up this foundation because it's not positive anymore. Yeah, you're being watched. So that's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Clarify. Yep, they are hiding their feelings for you. Clear as day, what I was just saying. 
So this person may just have kind of been observing the whole situation. Uh, may have even been you that was just observing a situation and not really voicing what it is you needed or, or what was missing to make this uh, fulfilling commitment or fulfilling partnership. Need more information, hiding something. Do not give up. You are almost there. All right, current energy is uh, the Emperor, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Sorry, that was really hurting my wrist. Um, you're larger than life in, in period. Larger than life, period. However, um, there's this element that in this situation you seem to be larger than life as well. So I don't know if you run the situation, if you're the boss, if this is, you know, career and you own the, the thing and you're the manager, whatever it is, but there's this need, you kind of walk to the beat of your own drum and everyone just kind of follows suits. So you don't have to really ask for much. You, you, your, your energy, your presence demands the attention from the room when you walk in it, it's it but this is something that happens naturally this is not something that you force okay now because of that there's this intimidation here now let's go back to the six of cups you are an empath that's why the six of cups is here with the hierophant you being an empath you having a divine connection to everything because it means you're gifted this is your spiritual gift as long as you learn how to properly utilize that energy, you can protect yourself from getting stuck and bound into other people's karmic contracts and karmic cycles. Because what's happening and what's taking place is you're getting yourself stuck in someone else's cycle because you're absorbing their energy and you're confusing it for yourself. And so, and, and see, you would know this, Virgo, you would know this, if you stopped burying your head in the sand, I'm about to teach somebody something here because Spirit's giving it to me. Amen. Uh, okay, because you keep burying your head in the sand in other situations instead of addressing what you're feeling. If you would address what you're feeling, you would discover through working with God and, and asking him to help you siphon it out, you would discover that about 50% of this energy that you think you have to work through and all these troubles that you have to work through is actually energy that you've been absorbing from whoever this other person is or whoever you spend close time with. Uh, we forget to shield ourselves from those that we live in a house from because we think shielding is only for toxic, negative, dark entities. Shielding is for you. It has nothing to do with anyone else. It's for you and God. Shielding is to ensure that every single day you are protected from all other energy and entities except for that of the Holy Spirit that leads and connects us directly to the Most High. Okay, it isn't about, oh, I don't have to protect myself from them. I don't know. Who is sending you your thoughts and your energy every day? Where's it coming from? Where is your source? That's a that's that's a whole other live I should do because that everyone who says source too that do you know what that can mean to the universe? There's there's so many sources, but who and what is your source? You have to be intentional, um, and that's what's taking place here. This death, something had to end, something had to kind of break apart very noticeably. So you may have recently gotten into an argument or a disagreement with someone, and you're deciding to stop whatever partnership you have going on here. Um, and then you're jumping back into your power and just kind of orchestrating everything. And you're trying not to focus so much on these emotions and spirit is saying, you're going to experience a heart chakra opening because you're an empath. And in order for you to break free from this cycle that's keeping you stuck and trapped and you're not able to see other perceptions because you're only seeing from the perception of this energy that you're absorbing. That's the problem with this situation. As soon as you give back to that feeling, take control of it. Be the emperor. And instead of being the emperor who's stuck in one way and, and I'm going to be over here and not look at it, become the emperor who goes to all areas of his domain. You've got to hit every single part, hill, mountaintop, valley, river, inside of you, inside of your empire, to become the emperor. How are you going to know what needs to be balanced out? What needs to be taken care of in your empire if you're not gardening the landscape? 
or sowing the ground, the seeds. You're going to experience a breakthrough. You don't be afraid to tap into that, uh, that energy, that emotion. It may require you to pause and take a break from a particular situation. Okay. But you have all these cards are representing a heart chakra opening Virgo Pisces energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces or there was a, well, Pisces season was pretty big for all of us. A lot of things uh, came to the surface for us to release. Oh, this is a karmic relationship. I told you, you got the devil here. You're needing to release yourself from some type of karmic contract. But this person has deep emotions for you. Deep emotions for you. But one of you or both of you have abandonment wounds that need to be dealt with. They need to be dealt with. Right now, the situation has karma in it. And it is uh, creating a block. You're not able to get past it. You're not able to move forward. You have the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Don't overthink a decision that you make. Don't overthink if you made the right choice. If you feel that you need a break so that you can tend to your garden and invest in something, do that. This, this is whatever the situation is, it grows over time. It's not something that's going to happen quickly, but it is going to require, um, somebody has to take accountability, first of all, because there's a lot of hesitation and a lot of getting lost in one's self of, did I make the right decision? And I also feel like Virgo, you're trying too hard to see it from too many different perspectives. This is a lesson for you to stop overanalyzing. There's karma in it. Whatever was negative was negative. Whatever is positive is positive. You stand in the middle so that you can see clearly. And all you have to focus on is making sure that the negatives are not affecting your positives, right? And that you are able to balance this out. And that's how you'll gain the answer and the clarity on if you want to stay in this or not. But I feel like you're going to need some type of separation or pause in order to come to that clarity. And it, it's, I feel like you're going to choose to just take a break. And it's, but th whatever this break is, it's this time, it's not going to be a big argument because this is showing up as. I think this is what we need to do to gain our bearings. This could even be a work thing where you're waiting to receive finances or money and they're like, hey, we're going to give it to you. Um, we're going to give it to you, but it's not, it's going to take some time or it's over time. Okay. But if this is love, something has to end for a new phase to begin. Clarify, please, for Virgo. Money fraud. There's, I told you this here too. There's an offer, Virgo, that could come to you and I don't take any shortcuts. Don't take any shortcuts because then there's going to have to be some type of reconciliation or fixing. See what I'm saying? Somebody's going to offer you something and then it's not going gonna, it's, it's to come. New idea, go for it. It will work. So if this is in regards to work, Virgo, be careful that you don't give in to temptation or quick um, investments, make sure that what you're about to get involved in is legitimate because you had the devil here and I saw that uh, before and because you have strong karmic energy. It doesn't mean that every opportunity and, and every decision that you make is going to be karmic. It's just asking you to please use your spiritual discernment. Pray before you go into these situations to be given the eyes and ears to hear and see uh, through God's wisdom and perception. Sending you guys much love. Bye.